S24 Ultra is being released here in just a few days. Um, so let me get the screen set up for sharing. Let's see. Let me go to present, share screen. And so we basically knew uh, most of the specifications for the S24 series, S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra. It's basically the biggest, minus the iPhone, obviously, the biggest phone launch of the year. Um, probably the second most popular phone besides the iPhone, but you know, uh, we're not really iPhone heavy here, basically Android uh, when it comes to phones. However, uh, we did get some news coming out today. So all of these specs were confirmed, all of them from top to bottom. And we're about to check them out. Now, I think we got about 90% of it correct. Now, there's one or two things that is news today that we did not see coming. So I actually put a report out. Uh, what was it? Um, I think two or three days. I think two days ago say about the Exynos processor and how Samsung is only going with uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now, that's that's basically, well, that is true. However, there's a little twist to it. So I confirmed that the S24 Ultra was going to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 worldwide, that they were not going to put the Exynos processor inside the S24 Ultra. That part I got right. However, what the twist was, I still didn't know about the smaller models, right? The regular S24 and the S24 Plus. And here's the deal with that. They are gonna get Exynos. So it looks like the S24 and S24 Plus are going to have Exynos processors in Europe. Yeah, that sucks. In Europe. So if you're in Europe and you're planning on getting an S24 or S24 Plus, obviously the decision decision is up to you. Um, but I would try to stay away. Or if you want an S24 and S24 Plus with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, look to buy an unlocked model, uh, America model. Uh, the bands should work, right? Your SIM card, if you buy a, if you're in Europe, you want S24 Plus, but you don't want the Exynos processor. Now, this is only in Europe. So if you buy an S24 or S24 Plus in Australia, it'll have the Snapdragon. If you buy the S24 or S24 Plus in the Philippines, it'll have the Snapdragon. Only in Europe are they putting the Exynos processor. Why? I have no idea. But um, I would suggest you look for an unlocked model. Uh, preferably, I guess, from the U.S., right? Um, I don't know about the other countries, but the bands in, in the frequencies from your European SIM card should work. Like 90% of them should work for you in Europe. Um, obviously, the ta you got to worry about taxes and import fees and stuff like that. But the uh, we got confirmed today as well that my report was true a couple days ago that the S24 Ultra series, just the Ultra, will use Snapdragon 8 gen 3 globally so even in europe the ultra will come with the snapdragon processor i don't know why they're doing this but it is what it is now there are significant camera improvements um, that are specifically only going to be found on the s24 ultra sort of like the pixel 8 pro has specific uh, uh camera features that are not seen on the smaller pixel 8 like the uh, video boost and the night sight video is not on the smaller Pixel 8, only the Pixel 8 Pro. And it looks like Samsung is going to do a few of those features are going to be exclusive to the Ultra device. Uh, plus, it helps when you have a 200 megapixel camera on the Ultra, right? Um, all models are going to support 8K resolution for, for video recordings. Here's what I'm thinking I'm assuming. That the S24 Ultra, one of the only features that that'll have that the other smaller models will not have is probably the Magic Eraser and Video Mode. I'm assuming that'll be for the S24 Ultra only. Um, what else did we see here? 
Uh, Germany and Europe are getting the Exynos for the smaller series. Now, it did score decent on the Geekbench score, the Exynos, the 2400. So, it is, they have made an improvement upon the older Exynos uh, CPUs. However, it's still not quite um, um, on the level of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now, um, what else we got? So, here, I mean, these are the official specs, right? S24 is going to have a 1080p, the small one. 6.2 inch 1080p plus screen while the s24 plus is going to be 6.7 inch wqhd resolution and it will be capable of 120 hertz all three models 24 24 plus 24 ultra are all getting ltpo2 displays meaning it'll ramp up to 120 hertz all the way down to one hertz um basically when the screen is off and or you have like a um uh what is it called um always on display that'll ramp down to one hertz to save battery life um uh, and yes the ultra will have a flat display we've known that for a while um all models are going to be equipped with brand new gorilla glass armor it's the basically second generation gorilla glass doesn't really stick with names that 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 much because they they went from gorilla glass and they went up to like one two three four five and then they switched to victus gorilla glass victus one two which is their current one and now they're dip, they're ditching the Victus name and they're going on Gorilla Glass Armor, which all three models will get the new Gorilla Glass Armor. And I believe all models are getting uh, the titanium frame. Um, I don't think because that was one of the other things. I, I knew the Ultra was getting the titanium frame. But I didn't get confirmation that the smaller version and the plus version were getting a titanium frame. But I haven't seen anything saying otherwise. So I'm assuming the smaller ones are getting the titanium mid-frame as well. Um, so basically, yeah, so that was the only difference. I mean, all the other specs we've known for a while, right? Seems like every day, the last week or two, something was coming out. But, uh, so basically, here you have it. Um, the S24 series is ready to go. We still have another, what is it, eight days? Um, something like that. And they'll be here. So just about, I think next Wednesday. And we're going to do a live stream for that. We're going to do a lunch party live stream for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Um, and I'm actually going to send, um, on that live stream... I'm going to allow the viewers uh, to join myself and tell me what you think about the device. Are you going to get it? Are you not going to get it? And why? Why would you get it? Why are not you getting it? Do you think it's going to sell well uh, compared to the iPhone? Obviously not. But what about previous models, right? So I'll send the link out on the live stream for the launch and uh, you can join the party.